This is all about the problem. I'm going to give you two equations, which are uh, we're giving m squared equal to m plus one. This is equation one. Not m squared equal to m plus one. Equation two. Yeah. We're asked to find m to the power of five plus m to the power of five equal to what now for us to do that well, let's add add equation one and equation two you add them you have n square plus n square is equal to n plus n plus two this becomes equation 3. Now subtract. Now let's subtract. Subtract equation 2 from equation 1. Now we now have to subtract. We now have n square minus n square is equal to n plus 1 minus n plus 1. So if you subtract, you have m squared minus n squared equal to, open the bracket, you have n plus 1 minus n minus times plus is minus 1. So this one will cancel out. You now have n squared minus n squared is equal to n minus n. Now, now the this can be factored out as m square if you add plus m n minus m n n minus m square is equal to m minus n so now you add this and subtract it just this is no we still remain the same now if you now so you now have m squared plus m n minus m n minus n squared is equal to m minus n. Now, if you look at these two terms, m is common. So you, if you remove m from here, if you divide m squared with m, you have m. If you divide m, if you divide, if you divide m n times plus m n by n by n you have plus n now what is common here is minus n so if you, you now have minus n if you use minus n to divide minus n n you have n plus n now if you use it to divide minus n square you have plus n which is equal to n minus n so now if you look at this n plus n is common so if you take it out, n plus n, so really it's common. So if you remove n plus n here, you have n left. If you remove n plus n here, you have minus n left. Now if we divide both sides of this equation by n minus n, You now have this to cancel out. You have n plus n equal to this one cancel out. So you have one. So this is equation what four. Let's see equation four. Now we have gotten n plus n to be this. Now substituting substituting n plus n equal to one into equation equation three into equation three equation this is equation three so equation three is m square plus m square is equal to m plus m then plus two so we now have m square plus m square is equal to we replace this with one plus m m plus n is equal to one so we have one plus two which will be equal to three 
That means we have n square plus n square equal to the basis equation. Now, I've got an equation here. Now, we know that n plus n is equal to 1. So, if we now say n plus n or k is equal to 1 all squared. So, now, if you open up this bracket, you now have n cubed plus 3n square n plus 3n n square plus n cubed equal to 1. Now you have n cubed plus n cubed plus. Now what is common here is 3n n. So you now have factor it as you now have. All you have now you have when you divide this 3m square by 3m square n by 3m 3m n you have n plus if you divide this you have n which will be equal to one so from here we know our m plus n to be equal to one so we have m cube plus n plus now 3m n times 1 will give you 3m n equal to 1 so this is our equation 6 then the next equation you have to have n you must square it that means you have no you have m n m plus n is equal to 1 so if you square this you have n square plus 2n n plus n square is equal to 1. So now we now have n square plus n square plus 2n n is equal to 1. So now what we have gotten this m square plus n square is equal to 3. Now replacing this with 3. I uh, can just say substitute. Let me say substituting m square plus n square equal to 3. Let me call this equation 7. Substituting m square plus n square equal to 3 into equation 7. We now have 3 plus 2 m n equal to 1. So now if you move this to this other side, you now have 2 m n equal to 1 minus 3. So 2 m n is equal to minus 2. So dividing all 2 by 2, you have you now have m n equal to minus 1. These two cancels this, this one. We have reserve minus 1. So we have gotten m n to be equal to minus 1. Let's call this equation 8. Now, substituting equation 8 into equation 6. Now, you know equation 6 is m cubed plus m cubed plus 3. 3m n is equal to what? 1. This is equation 6. Now, if you substitute m n into this equation, you have m q plus n q plus 3 into minus 1 equal to 1. Now, you have m plus n cube minus 3 is equal to 1. So that means n cube plus n cube is equal to. If you move this to this side, you have 1 plus 3, which is equal to 4. So n cube plus n cube is equal to 1. 
Oh, this is equation nine. So how we get in equation nine? Now, now let's multiply equation five. This is equation five. Let's multiply equation five with equation nine. So you have m square plus n square is equal to three and m cube plus n cube is equal to four. Let's see. This is equation five. This is equation nine. So multiplying both sides, you now have m square plus n square times n cube plus n cube is equal to three times four. So you have m square plus n square times n cube plus n cube is equal to two. So if we multiply this out, now using this to multiply the whole of this, you have m squared brackets open m cube plus n squared plus n squared. Using plus n squared to multiply also this sum value, you have m cube plus n squared, m cube, sorry. This is m cube, sorry, 4 to 12. So now, if you use this to open up this bracket now, n squared times n cube will give you m raised to power 5 plus this time this will give you m squared n cube plus this n squared times n cube will give you n squared n cube plus n squared times n cube will give you n raised to power 5 which is equal to n squared. That means we now have n to the power of 5 plus n to the power of 5. Bring them together. Then plus this one. Now, what is common here? You have, you have m square n square is common. So m square n square is common. Now, if you use it to divide, if you use m square n square to divide m square n cube, you now have n that's many and then if you use it to divide this you have plus n now which is equal to 12 so now this can also be written in this form you now have n to the power of 5 plus n to the power of 5 plus this according to law of indices we have a to the power 2, let's say a to the power x, b to the power x. Since the powers are the same, you can just bring them together and raise them all to the power to that same power. So to apply that here, you now have m n all to the power 2 brackets m plus b is equal to what to now, from we know from equation eight, we know m n to be equal to minus one, and m plus n to be equal to one. So if you plug in my minus one here, we have m raised to power five plus n raised to power five plus this is minus one square. This one is one. So equal to two. So now you have n raised to power five plus n raised to power five. N plus. So this minus one square is plus one. So plus one times plus one have one, which is equal to two. So that means moving this plus one to this other side comes minus. We have five m raised to power five plus n raised to power five. So it goes to 12 minus 1. So m raised to 4 5 plus n raised to 4 5 is equal to what 11. So this is what we are asked to find. 
So this is the end of this program, this lecture. Thank you for watching till the end. Please subscribe to my channel. And when you subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also hit the like button. Make your comments and also share the video. Thank you.